Okay, this is the June 2022 P1 paper. It's question seven. And as you see, as we'll go through it, it's a little bit of differentiation and a little bit of integration uh, in this question. So question seven says, uh, f dash x is equal to this function involving roots and one over x squared, etc. f double dash x, differentiating again, uh, gives me some information about that. And then part a says, can I find the value of a? So let's make a start. They're telling me that f dash x is equal to, and I'm gonna write this in a form that I can differentiate in a minute. So I'm not gonna put two over root x, I'm gonna put two x to the minus a half. Okay, root x is x to the half, one over root x is x to the minus half. Plus a similar sort of idea, x to the minus two, plus three, and then I can see that they are telling me f double dash x um, when x equals four. So what I'm gonna do is from f dash x, I'm gonna differentiate and get f double dash x. So that's multiplying by the power and taking one off the power. Two times minus a half gives me minus one. Taking one off the power there, x to the minus a half with one taken off of that becomes x to the minus three over two. For the second term, multiplying by the power becomes minus two a. Taking one off the power comes x to the minus three. Just be careful with those ones. You should have had enough practice of that by the time that you're doing past papers. Uh, and then they've told me in this piece of information here that f double dash, let's write it down properly, f double dash four is equal to naught. So what that means is that if I substitute four in, so minus one, four to the minus three over two, minus two a, four to the minus three, that works out to be equal to zero. And then just try and work out some of that using a calculator to help you. This is minus one over eight here, and four to the minus three is uh, one over 64, but the two there means that it works out to be one over 32. Please do all that on the calculator. Don't try and do it in your head. Let's just use the uh, technology we have available to us. And if that's true, we get that a over 32 is equal to minus an eighth, which means that a then works out to be equal to minus four. So that's the first part of the question done. Find the value of a. For the second part, it says, given that fx is eight root three when x equals 12. Well, look, we're going the other way here. If we've got f dash x, we differentiated to get f double dash x, but now we're actually gonna be integrating to get fx. So I told you that at the start of the question that it was both differentiation and integration in this. So let's make a start on that part then. So we know what f dash x is. We've already had that, remembering that we know a now. So it's two x to the minus a half minus four x to the minus two plus three. I've subbed in the value of a, and I know that fx is just the integral of that. So integral of all of that, just put that in. This is really just explaining my working out to the examiner. So what is the integral of that then? fx is equal to, add one onto the power, it makes x to the half, divide by the new power, two divided by a half, be careful with this, you can do it on the calculator, but two divided by a half is two times two. Take the next one, add one onto the power, it makes x to the minus one now, divide by the new power is dividing by minus one, so minus four divided by minus one makes plus four, and then at least the three is easy. That becomes plus three X there. And we must remember to have our constant of integration in there. So that's FX, but I wanna get rid of that constant and I've now got this information that I can use to sort that out. So they're telling me that, where are we? FX equals eight root three when X is equal to 12. So fx is equal to eight root three when I put 12 into my function. So 12 in there, 12 in there, 
12 in there, and then C is what I'm going to need to work out. So if we do that, we get eight root three equals, no problem with you doing all these things on the calculator. You do the square root of um, 12, works out to be two root three, times by four, well, that's gonna give me an eight root three. They're, they're gonna cancel in a second, I won't do it yet, but they're gonna cancel out, and I get, 4 over 12, which is a third, I get 36, and I get plus C. So rearranging all of that, I say those cancel, take the 36 and the third over, I'm going to get C equals minus 36 and a third. Now remember, they actually wanted what Fx was going to be. So Fx was 4x to the half, it was 4x to the minus 1, it was 3x, and now this, uh, I'm going to write it as uh, an improper fraction. I'm going to write it as minus that. Absolutely fine for you to leave it like that. Let's just check. Uh, what does it say? Giving fx each term in its simplest form. That, that's fine. That is the answer. There is an alternative where you say for root x, you put the x to the minus 1 back in there. The other two, you wouldn't do anything with it anyway but you do not need to do that. Either of those two are absolutely fine as the answer. Okay, hopefully that makes sense.